everybody, I'm CJ Ward. Desalinated water will be running from Santa Barbara Taps after all. City officials unanimously voted to get the plant up and running again. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair joins us live from the Charles E. Meyer desalination plant. And Tracy, it sounds like city officials just didn't want to take any chances and wait for El Nino. That's right. They called this an insurance policy for the next route if this one ever ends. And they said that this vote took a lot of forethought, two years of debate and four years of record drought. We think the environment and Santa Barbara ratepayers would be far better served by investing more in recycled water, indirect potable reuse, and stormwater capture. So I'm wondering why the city officials are quoted in the news media as saying that desal is the only option. Critics are concerned about marine life and money, but council members agreed to spend $43 million over the next two decades to give the old desalination plant new life. Yes, desal is expensive, but not having water is very expensive. So uh, I am fully in favor of going forward with the desal plant, and I think it's the best solution. It's part of a balanced solution. So I'd rather not do a desal plant. I'd rather have the natural resources. I'd rather have a bigger, more uh, able consumer to supplies into the future. The cost will be shared by water users. It's going to bump people's bills, and uh, definitely. But is it, I think it's going to be closer to the 5 to $10 range. Uh, it's not going to be like a $50 hit. The city's water resource manager says it will cover at least a third of the city's needs and more if expanded. Is that diversity of our water supplies is really critical. As most people would say in their stock portfolios, they want diversification. We want diversification in our school system. Love it in my workforce. Water supplies is no different. IDE, the company that built one in Carlsbad, California, won the contract. A portion of the water used to drink will be desalinated ocean water, even if the rain washes away the drought. And to take that salt out of the ocean water and make it drinkable, it'll cost between one and four million dollars a year, depending on Santa Barbara's need. There should be a groundbreaking of sorts coming up this fall. In Santa Barbara, Tracy there, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you.